Brothers, and today we're going to talk about chronic ankle sprains. Why are you, you know, there are people who continually sprain their ankle. I've, I've, I've had a person, I had a patient that actually sprained an ankle over 20 times. And uh, we're going to go over some of the causes of that today. So, we'll start off with uh, number one, uh, and this is a serious one, and this is the one I want to make sure that you've had checked out. Uh, ankle sprains are generally graded from one to three. And if you have a three where you actually tore the ligament, uh, Lindsay, you want to throw that foot out here? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, cool. Yeah, uh, we got a foot here. Uh, do you want to zoom in a little bit, Lindsay? And I'm, I'm not going to show you the actual ligament that you might hurt when you sprain, but ligaments hold bone to bone, okay? They're just tough little structures that, hold, that link them together. And if, you, if that ligament is torn, you can see where the, it's not going to uh, keep the foot very stable and you can have a lot of movement. Pro possibly in this joint would be a good Yeah, let, maybe we should give them some reference here so they're clear on what the skeleton model is. Um, here are the toes, obviously, and then the, the tarsals and then the metatarsals. And right here is actually your heel bone. So if you're looking at your foot, we're, we're looking at it like this. Okay, this one's falling apart without any ligaments and tendons and right. muscles. But th that's the exact point. Now, if you don't have secure ligaments, tendons, and muscles, they literally, your foot becomes flaccid and you lose stability. Exactly. So that's one reason. It's, it's probably the least likely possibility. Um, uh, you, you probably have known that right away when you injured it, if, if that was the case. A second, uh, more uh, possible cause would be weakness in the ankle. And uh, Brad and I are going to do a video on that, showing how to strengthen your ankle. Right. Right. A third cause, which is one that a lot of people don't know about or think about, is there's actually little receptors in the joints that you have uh, of your ankle, and they are proprioceptive uh, receptors. And proprioception just means it, it tells you where your ankle is in space. So for example, Lindsay, if you can look down here, right now without looking at my foot, I can tell I'm turning it in, and I can tell I'm turning it out. Now, when you're uh, receptors are affected with an ankle sprain, it's not going to be so severe that you can't tell which way you're turning it, but it's going to be a subtle thing. You're just not going to, your ankle's going to start to turn when you hit like an uneven surface, and you won't know it's turning until it's too late, and then you sprain it. Right. So it, it's, it's a major thing that we, you want to be concerned about, and, and it's something else that we're going to talk about when we talk about the use of a balance board. But one simple way to, to, to maybe measure whether or not your uh, receptors are out, going out a little bit, Brad's going to show you here. And I know when Bob's talking about proprioception, don't get thrown off by that word. You know, it's just knowing where your body is in space, and particularly with weight bearing, you, your, your mind knows where your foot is, and you can tell if you step on a curb or tell if you step on a rock just by the angle of the foot, not necessarily by the... Uh, the feeling of it, but it knows a position without looking at it, and your body will automatically adjust. So it's a good point, Brad. Because I mean, we're talking about joint proprioceptors, which usually you have to have weight bearing on. Right. So good. Okay. So anyway, um, a, a simple test would be close your eyes and to balance on one foot for 30 seconds. I've tried balancing on the good leg first. It's not that easy, is it? Yeah. And you close your eyes. You'll notice if you look at my ankle, I'm working much harder with my eyes closed. And then when I open my eyes, there's a lot of balance involved with vision. Okay, and then, then you can go to the bad ankle. I don't, do you have a good ankle and a bad ankle, Brad? Or? Both my ankles are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, but we'll pretend that this ankle is sprained. I did sprain this one, but it's this rehab well because I had a good therapist help me out. Um, but when you see it in the clinic, I work, I'm working with someone right now with a weak ankle, and she always falls to the left to the opposite direction. Okay, in her case she's her right ankle, but she goes to the opposite direction. She goes like this, her ankle goes in. In her case, I think it's actually weakness more than proprioception, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I still need to work with her a little closer. Um, but yeah, so if you got a weak ankle, things are really working and you'll see the person do this, and then if you close their eyes, oftentimes there's not a prayer that they're going to stand. Right, so that's two possibilities: is the uh, you know the proprioception and the uh, the weakness, and those are two things that we'll cover in other videos. Uh, a fourth possibility. That was Brad's phone. Uh, he got an emergency call from. It was my wife. His wife. Oh, <laughs> I had to answer. So, okay. 
Uh, going back, the last thing we're going to cover is that the thing that a lot of people don't realize is if you have bad shoes uh, with bad arch support or even shoes that have wore out, uh, they can really promote ankle sprains. You want to show me that, that show me that shoe, Lindsay? We've got an example of a, uh, this is obviously a work shoe, but it's the same in a running shoe or any other type of shoe. If you look, let's zoom right in tight here, Lindsay, at the heel, it's wore right here. So when the person steps on this, it's actually going to start wearing the, having the ankle twist in. We call it inversion. That'll get worse and worse over time. And I've seen people's shoes that are so wore out, I'm surprised they don't sprain their ankle on a daily basis. With every step. Yeah, I, I've seen the same thing. It's just amazing. So make sure your shoes are not wore out. Catch, Lindsay. Thank you. <laughs>